That sort of explains why everybody's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed <laughs> in London, right? But I think we have the London weather, Maria. I know. It's a little muggy. We've had some fog in the area, too. Yeah, for sure. But uh, we're trying to get some of that sun to at least peek through. This is view via Earth Cam from the Statue of Liberty looking toward lower Manhattan. Uh, the showers that we had overnight, those have pretty much wrapped up. You see another batch off to the west, so we're not quite done with that chance. As far as severe weather goes, though, that best chance has been pushed to the south compared to yesterday. So central South Jersey especially. That's where we could see the gustier winds and the heavier rainfall. But really everywhere today there is that opportunity, especially as we get into the afternoon. So that time frame again, not everywhere and not all the time, uh, but you can see even through this evening, some showers lingering. What we're holding out on, what we're waiting for is that cold front and it eventually sweep through. So by mid morning tomorrow, a lot of us already beginning to clear out. And along with that, as you might imagine, the drier air comes in. So it's going to be a lot less humid, which is not the case now. It's very humid humid 63 out the door that dew point into the 60s. It'll be warmer today as well into the upper 70s. Again, keep the umbrella and the rain gear handy through the afternoon and evening early part of the overnight as well down to 64 degrees. A beautiful afternoon once we get the clouds and the showers out of the way early 78 degrees and a northwest wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Just a quick update too on the tropics. We've been keeping an eye on this area in the Caribbean and the parts of the Gulf of Mexico. Excellent chance of further development will likely get a tropical depression before the weekend and it could become a tropical storm regardless. Uh, South Florida, the Keys definitely going to see some heavy rain out of this. We'll watch it closely, of course, but for us, anything but tropical. It's absolutely gorgeous heading into the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, 70s near 80 degrees. Both days, low, low humidity, very comfortable. And then by next week, we have a couple of systems rolling through. That'll bring a couple chances for some stormy weather. All right, 648, that's your 10-day Adele. Good morning. Good morning, Maria. Good morning to everyone at home watching. Now, we have plenty going on on the roadways. We're going to take a check at that in just a minute. But first, we want to take a look at the gas gauge. If you're going to be driving around through the tri-state area, New York down 10 cents from yesterday. So that gas suspension tax is, in effect, 483 a gallon, 479 for Jersey, and 472 for Connecticut drivers. Now, let's take a look onto the roadways here. You've got a few things to keep in mind. Route 100 northbound is shut down. Pleasantville Road out to 9. A for an accident. Also, we've got that accident on the major Deegan southbound over by exit four. Delays are heading all the way back to the Cross Bronx Expressway. You can see those slowdowns here on that roadway below. Also, the Cross Bronx eastbound is going to jam you up heading into about Jerome Avenue, and you want to watch out for this accident on the Belt Parkway westbound heading into exit eight. We'll keep you updated on that. For now, we're going to send it back to you, Darlene. All right, thanks so much. It's 649. Don't be surprised if you see military jets in the air this morning. Three F-18s will be conducting a flyover around 10:30 a.m. They're going to fly from the Verrazano Bridge to the Cuomo Bridge at approximately 